Robin, it's 20th season. Swing and a miss. There's the first strikeout for Brent Alizos. Swing and a miss. Alizos works around the leadoff home run. And they're back in the dugout where we sit right now at Prasco Park. First pitch to Jack Kausinger, who laces this one out to right center field. Back to the wall, and it's off the top of the wall. Housinger into second standing up, and that is how Xavier responds to the leadoff home run from Oscar Murray. Both ways here for game two. Walker slaps this ball into left field. Will Gale comes up and he drops the ball. Around third to score goes Housinger, and we're tied at one. You know, all of them are thrilled to be back here at Prasco. 2-2, a check swing, but he got rung up anyway. Ball that found the outer half of the plate, and that is strikeout number three for Alizos. 1-2, swing and a miss. He's behind that pitch. May have gotten a piece of it into the glove of Dupre, but that is strikeout number four for Alizos. Jack Kausinger, lined through the left side. He's going to make the turnaround first and get on his horse to second. The ball is bobbled. He's head first, diving into second. And the senior is turning it on at the right time. 2-2. And it's slapped to the left side and RBI. Xavier takes the 2-1 lead. All Andrew Walker does is hit to the opposite field. He does it yet again. Had some barbecue here, and always the debate between the Carolina mustard sauce as Alizos comes up high with a nice strikeout to start the inning. Fifth strikeout for Alizos. He's kind of a fly ball pitcher. 3 2 swung on and missed. Alizos, the sixth strikeout of the evening. The winner of this game, of course, you're excited to play them. As Housinger takes this one down the right field line, already a double and a single today. He's going to go around first into second, three straight times today. Jack Housinger has found himself at second base. And DiMartino rips it into left. Walker will be sent around third. The throw from McNelly will be late, and Xavier stretches the lead to two. And it's funny because didn't Billy O'Connor tell us that those bottom four would determine how the week would go? And right on cue, fellas. There's a single right up the middle. Sometimes you just need a summoner. <laughs> Alex Hellman got a lot of time out there in right field as well for the Musketeers. 1-0 and just what the doctor ordered, a single to the left side. So after we talk about how the Five through nine is struggling in the order tonight. That's back-to-back -back singles. And a line drive to the right side, and it's snagged by the diving Jared Cushing. The throw to first. Oh my goodness, what a way to end the top of the seventh inning. Xavier stays in front by a run. An all-out effort from the Xavier second baseman. One one to Hendrickson, and guess what? Lines it through the left side. He comes into the game in the sixth inning, and he's two for two. In the ninth inning, Seton Hall will have six, seven, eight due up. Here comes the runner from third, and the throw gets away. Xavier stretches the lead to two. Corner Hendrickson scoring on the pitch to the backstop. Heads up base running from the Xavier right fielder. Moves up to second. Walker lines it into right field. Around third comes Housinger. The throw comes to the plate, but it's too late. Andrew Walker just continues to deliver for the Musketeers. The All Biggies first teamer gives Xavier a three run lead. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Swing and a high chopping ground ball. Housinger charging in. The throw to first, and it's in time. And the Xavier Musketeers are into the winner's bracket. It'll be the top two seeds in the Big East playing at 6.30 tomorrow night, the Connecticut Huskies and the Xavier Musketeers.